going to tell you what a girl really means when she says these things. If a girl said, sorry, I was busy, she's with another guy, or she just didn't feel like replying to you. It's a girl's trip means she's on a trip with like a sugar daddy or another man or other guys are there. <laughs> Not judging y'all or nothing, but how do y'all be talking to them older men? Like the ones that's in their 50s, 60s? They scare me. <laughs> When they be trying to talk to me, I be like, ew, like, how old are you? I feel like I'm, a, I'm still a kid sometimes. It's time to stop body shaming other people. I was at Disneyland today. I wanted to have fun with my siblings. But our day was ruined by all the people that were making fun of the size of my body. And the worst part is that they teach their kids to do the same. Trouble yeah. now. Yeah. Trouble now. Back. Yeah. We're back. Hey. This joint podcast, baby. Did you miss us? We coming for you. We coming for that ass. I'm not. <laughs> summer is here. Summer is here. Thighs out, bras yeah, out. Me. Summer is here. Let's hit it. Thighs out, yeah, bras out. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Welcome this back. Season. Welcome back. Yeah. Welcome back. This again, hold on. Summer ain't got nothing to do with that because the thighs and the bras be out all year round. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Me. no I like the summer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the summer. Yeah. Our thighs out, bras out, hit different. Yeah, that's right. This joint podcast. This joint podcast. You know what I'm saying? We in the building. We in the mother. Mm. Yeah. Boy, it's a damn shame I can't curse like I used to walk. Because I'm hype tonight. I am, look, I am completely woke tonight. Boy, let me tell you some internet. Y'all in trouble. Mm -mm. Uh-oh. Los is up tonight. Los is ready. Y'all about to get relapsed on me. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> don't let me relapse on you. Uh oh Is this the episode where I got to relapse? Yeah. Oh. Hey, There's just a bunch of relapsing in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, listen, we are relapsing. Hey. I'm delivered. So. <laughs> With the tea? <laughs> delivered. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this doing podcast, man. Delivered. Ooh. With the tea. Yeah, sure. let's go to the introduction. Of course, Lost to Dark Gable. I got my man over here. Listen, we already know. Hold on, wait a minute. Uh, wait, got, wait, wait, Ooh, ladies first. Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> What happened to the late? June Ooh. is mental. It's men's mental health month. But <laughs> yes, go yes, ahead. Men's mental. <laughs> yeah, ladies. Hey, all right, here we. Hey, here. here we go. Ladies here we go. First. Here we are. Damn. Over here. June is men's mental health. Yeah, man. Ladies, <laughs> we got we got the chocolate. We got we no, got we I'm got every chocolate. white man's dream. <laughs> Honey yeah, dip. Yeah, honey Every dip. Every white man's dream. <laughs> I like that. Honey dip. Every white man's dream. Honey dip tea. <laughs> honey to be dip more tea. specific. Honey dip tea. Honey dip That's tea. That's what I'm talking about yeah. right there. You know what I mean? Now, now, now last but not least. I, I should have went before you. You know, ladies first. No, you don't go. You don't go before Los. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the creator uh, of that, the show. That, <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, see what that Tyler mean, Perry created the movie, but he introducing everybody else. <laughs> that would seem a little weird. See what happened, man? Black women, boy, you just give them an inch, they take a oh yard. What, what did what did Prince say? Maybe she's just like my mother. <laughs> Maybe she's, she's never, never sad. I am. She's never sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, just your podcast, y'all. Welcome. We got another great Welcome show for y'all tonight, as usual. All right, you didn't introduce him. Now you don't. Man, listen, it's CJ. Y'all listen, y'all already know CJ. I do <laughs> listen. I do a lot. But I never do the most. Okay. <laughs> All right, we can take that back. We ain't got to introduce CJ no more. No, they know. <laughs> everybody know. Everybody know. Yeah, everybody CJ. know. CJ is the second coming to to Kevin Samuels. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah man. Shout out to Onk. Rest in peace. Yeah, Onk. that's Onk a man. Kevin. Let me tell you something. Look, look I'm, about, I'm, about, I'm about to make all these women mad. Kevin Samuels, God. Hey, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now we go viral. Look at her. Look at her. Yeah. Now we, we already right go viral. <laughs> now, now you got my whole face off. Shout out to Uncle Kev. Rest in <laughs> peace. <laughs> Oh the man, so listen, we need y'all to sit back and enjoy the show. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. And subscribe if you already didn't. Yes, that's right. Sit back and enjoy the show. We got five viral videos to react to. Give y'all our commentary, our beliefs, 
And if you don't like it, so the fuck what? <laughs> if you don't like it, you can grab on these. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey. yeah, I mean, but be sure to tell us that you don't like it. That's right. right. Put it in the comment. Yes. You know what I mean? Come at our next. Tell us how you feel. You know what I mean? Tell us how you really feel. Tell mm -hmm. us how you feel. That's right. If you don't like tea, tell tea how you really feel. And how about I won't give a two? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> just so goddamn spiteful. The title of this episode, <laughs> Just Like a Black Woman. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing for the night, bro. That's the thing. Just like a black woman. <laughs> just like a black woman. Hey, guess what? <laughs> Out there, audience, I don't know any of the topics tonight, so we'll just see if that just theme actually works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like a black woman. We'll see. Yeah. She a hater. <laughs> she a hater. I'm far from a hater. That's what all haters say. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a hater. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. So, before we get started, I suggest that we go to a Phillies game and enjoy some of the baseball activities. But T didn't want to go because she said, oh, baseball boring. I said, well, you may get yourself a nice little white sugar daddy out there. She didn't want to do it. Marlene. <laughs> If you out there, Marlene, <laughs> and you need a 39-year-old with a strong back, I've been in the gym Look, consistently for one year. I just I paid my annual membership I don't, fee. I don't, want no, I don't want no holla at me. Uncle Ben, okay? Sorry. Marlene, holla at me, okay? To you can get the sugar, the dad, and the mama. I'll take it all. T, mm -hmm. stop playing. I ain't playing. You get, you get free manicures and pedicures. For I life. pay for that myself. I don't want to. Oh if God, he yeah. can't, if he can't please me physically, what I what I want your finances for? You there it is. Make sure y'all sign up for our Patreon. <laughs> Just like a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> I can sure do it myself. <laughs> All the women who independent. <laughs> Throw your hands up in there. Okay. <laughs> you know, get off me. You ain't pleasing me sexually. I can do it myself. Do you know what that means, man? I N D E P. Okay. Shout out to the people in the building. Let's see. Who we got in the building tonight? Yeah, we got L Boogie, Mr. Mr. L Boogie in the building. Shout out to L Boogie. What do L Boogie? You know what I'm saying? We got R. James. We got Detroit. Oh, Shout out Detroit? to the Motor City. Oh, fucking Motor City in the month. I'm a Lions. Yes. Listen, Belgium, we Listen. got Motor City in the month. I've been a Lions fan since I was like seven years old. So shout out to the Motor City. My Lions, we, you know, he's an NFC championship. So we, we coming to do some damage this year. Yeah, so, okay, okay. We're going to move on from that. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yo, shall we get everything? Shall, shall we get the show started? Listen, man, let's, let's, let's go. Let's get it started in here. Let's, let's go. Get let's it go, man. What, what, what we got? What we got for video right, number? number uno. Num oh, y'all. Yes. She's hit the Spanish. <laughs> She's fine. Say it again. <laughs> what, 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 video <laughs> number what? Oh, what? Look, don't play with me. What did I tell you last week? I said yep. I, I'm going to come up in here with that Spanish. Didn't I say that? <laughs> look. She said she I am a woman of my word. She said she, said she coming right, y'all. <laughs> Ooh. You know what, <laughs> CJ? You're such a hater. <laughs> 104 episodes in. And she's finally yeah, got it. yeah, yeah. You CJ know what I mean? Finally, such a hater. Finally. So we got video number one. So look, a woman breaks down what girls really mean when they say this to us men. Well, Sounds like a black woman. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey! Just hey. like a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> that peanut chip this song. It is this strong podcast. Oh, let's go. All right, I'm going to tell you what a girl really means when she says these things. If a girl said, sorry, I was busy, she's with another guy, or she just didn't feel like replying to you. It's a girl's trip means she's on a trip with like a sugar daddy or another man or other guys are there. <laughs> He's just a best friend. Um, he could be, but they've definitely flirted and they've probably thought about getting with each other at least once <laughs> if a girl texts you and says i just woke up she's been up for hours and she saw your text she just didn't feel like replying if her phone was dead um she was out somewhere and she didn't want you to know where she was or she didn't feel like replying to you if a girl randomly texts you and says like how have you been or like how was your day she probably needs something from you or she actually wants to hang out and this last one, if a girl tells you her body count is four, you better multiply that one by three. <laughs> Damn! T, is she dropping the tapes on y'all females? She ain't speaking for me. Uh, at in, all. In general. Wait. 
In general, just like a black. I don't woman. look. I can <laughs> only speak for me. Okay, so at the end of the day, when I say I'm on a girls' trip, I'm on a damn girls' trip. Okay, so ain't no hoeing going on in this girls' not trip. Not at all. And I mean hoe people, like not you know look, garden not, tool. Not hoe. one hoe. <laughs> No, because the the one person that I travel with, me and her, we are like the same type vibe, and we we not into that type stuff. So when we go away, we enjoy ourselves. So y'all ain't got one friend to get loose off the goose. Oh yeah, I do. Oh, so, so. <laughs> hold up. No, but she's she's somebody. She's another friend. She's not the one that I travel with though. Oh okay. Because uh, you know those loosey goosey ones, boy. I mean, I have traveled with her before, and we like literally clubbed hop until like five o'clock in the morning. Two shots of Patron like, in the zone. Like, oh my god, I'm tired. My feet hurt. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. You said you clubbed hop? Clubbed hop. Or or did y'all de-hop? <laughs> oh, no, she did. Oh, she, gave me, oh, oh, she gave me her location. She was like, look, this is where I'm going. If I don't come back in an hour, this is where I'm at. I'm like, all right, I got you. Um, behind the scenes, can you drop her uh, her Instagram? Drop, <laughs> drop her location, please. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I stayed at the hotel. But oh, that, man. Oh, man. Uh, bro, Steve, bro. What do you got to say, bro? Listen. She was she was on point on some of them. If a girl tell you the body count, you gotta always times it by three. That's why I'm talking about. It is count. what it is. You, you ain't gotta mm-hmm. know. That's number one. She was right there. Yeah, if if a woman is giving you the excuses, because women the one thing women can do with men is they can be up front. Most men, like if you if you dealing with somebody and a woman say, uh, you know, I was out, yeah, I, or I was on a date or whatever. Most men like, okay, like, I don't really care. Yeah, okay, Where, I'm a still hit. Yeah, like, yeah, it's like, I don't, I don't really care about that. So she giving you all these ex, uh, examples and excuses and stories of my phone was dead. So we know that most women, their phone is glued to their fingernails and then through their, <laughs> the palm of their skin. <laughs> so when a woman talk about she didn't see it, we know that's a lie. You, and she say you her, know damn well she saw it. She said her, <laughs> she said her phone was dead. Stop. We're not allowed to sleep. Yeah, at night. <laughs> <laughs> and most women don't go to sleep before eight o'clock. So it's yeah. like if it's nine fifteen, you saw that. We know you nah. was he was with Tyrone. He was giving he was bending it <laughs> yeah. like Beckham. So I think it's 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 like, Tyrone. Y'all can sleep when you get the <laughs> <laughs> and then you would go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so she was on point. She she made some good points. I mean, some of it was a little little young and I don't want to say immature, but like for the younger generation. It's, let's but, say young and inexperienced. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. She she definitely not speaking for me. Uh, you're because, because, you're because we know we know how we know how you get down. All right, let me let's let's flip the question. You and your homegirls in 1999 and nine nine two thousand was y'all. Uh, you know, not answering calls and um, telling men that you were asleep and your phone died and all that. Ninety nine, I had a one year old. I was okay. Nine. See, <laughs> we gonna need you. We gonna need you to phone a friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so wait, so look, look, look. let's go. Let's go to the first comment. So the first comment says, "Women are liars." It has nothing men to do are with liars. men. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's stay we on topic. From y'all. No, now y'all not, not, not like I said. <laughs> y'all learned everything but logic. The comment said, "Women are liars." It had nothing to do with men. And 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 let let me say this, that it's the woman that trains a man how to be a liar and deceiving, and 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 mischievous. Yes, I said it. Okay, elaborate on that, Mister Los. Shall, shall I elaborate? Yeah, please elaborate. elaborate. Okay. Um, Since us women teach y'all how uh, to be liars, shall, shall I elaborate? Okay. Who is the first woman? A young man comes in contact with. Okay, just because it's his mother. They Answer don't the mean damn question. Le- they don't <laughs> mean he's learning you know what? Mom. You know what? Listen, listen. We are in a courtroom. <laughs> I just need you to just answer. I don't need the rest of the gibberish. Okay, so how so, about this? So I, I am not your I, honor. I, your honor. <laughs> we're gonna she is still answer talking. The question. <laughs> she is still talking, your honor. I got two sons. <laughs> you're, being, you're being cross-examined. I, I need have, to answer the question. I have then two then sons, then two young men, okay? Yeah. They do not learn your how honor. to lie from me. Yeah. Okay, your as honor. a matter of fact, 
Your Honor. As a matter of fact, Your Honor, let me may, tell you something. May, may, yeah, you can go may ahead. I treat her go as ahead. a hostile witness. <laughs> may I treat her as a hostile witness, Your Honor? Uh, let what, me tell what, you what something. They say when they, when they agree, it's not. Um, <laughs> let me tell you something. Hold on, let me get the I may get upset, <laughs> but when I ask my son something and I don't like the answer, they honest with me. Now, what they do with them girls out in the street, I can't really say, but I know they honest with me. Because I've taught them to be honest. Now, Your Honor, we have a hostile witness, Your Honor. <laughs> like I said, I rest my case. It, no, is, it is the woman that a man first come in contact with. Yeah, is, but is they that don't woman? mean that's where they learning how to lie from. <sighs> Prove it. I need proof by next week. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I need <laughs> proof by next week. <laughs> hold up. Before we go to the next comment, I see somebody in the chat say, it's in his blood. Adam lied to Eve. No, actually, ma'am, you, you must not... Must have read the Bible incorrectly. <laughs> Eve bit the apple. Eve bit the apple, yeah. And then she the gave it to Adam. Fruit. She lied and gave it to Adam. Say, hey, hey, eat up on hey, this. So, yeah, I'm going I'm to need you to get your back straight. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Tell her. T, we love you. We love you, T.Y. But on this show, you're wrong. <laughs> and, 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 and can I, can I dispel a myth? You know how they always say that uh, women are better liars and all that stuff they meant I, i'm gonna go out on the limb and say oh that's a damn lie that's i wouldn't say that we're better liars just it's just think, that I just we think, don't get caught because y'all so daggone sloppy no 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 y'all are sloppy i just don't think that men interrogate or they don't they don't do enough investigation as much as women well we it, it has nothing to do with the interrogation yes, it do. We don't, we yeah. it's about y'all guys don't realize how y'all don't realize how y'all be changing up on no, no, your no, no, patterns no, 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 for no. us to realize you, you when not, y'all doing y'all dirt no no you don't, you don't understand <laughs> what i'm saying see us women we can be consistent with our stuff no 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 no, no we no. know what to look for but <laughs> even in the consistency we we're not in, we're not investigating as much as y'all Y'all investigating everything. So even if we switch up or not, y'all doing a whole bunch. We don't. And that's why y'all are, are able to get away with it more, you know, frequently. Because we're not checking every phone, every DM. We won't do all that until <laughs> something might spark our interest. Y'all, again, I come in and, I, and I, I'm limping. And so, what he limping for? <laughs> Let me start checking his phone. Let me go on to Instagram. Like, it's a big difference. So that whole, y'all do it better. No, we just don't check up on y'all as much oh, as wait, we do. Yeah, wait, wait. Read what T.Y. said. Did, did, did you repeat what T.Y. said? <laughs> she said, no, we can see it. Feel it. Hold up. And we, we can dream see it, it, feel it, and we Y'all dream born, it. Oh, yes, we do. So, oh, my so, God. Uh, that on. is the uh, truth. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something. Let me go. I have had, oh, my God. Let, let me, me tell you something. Little. That intuition be on point because, like, when I start getting that feeling, oh, my God, my heart start racing. It would be like, what I be it? having, like, these heart poppers. So y'all always have heart palpitations <laughs> when something's going wrong, but y'all never have the heart palpitations to know that your man is hungry, he tired, he he's sick of you. You 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 never have heart palpitations. He horny. He horny. You never have heart palpitations Girl, when he when he just wants you, you to why, shut You can be in the middle up. of just like sewing something, and then next thing you know, like wait a minute, something it's ain't funny right. how y'all only get to, the like only something ain't right. the intuition only kicks in when it's when it's negative. When yeah. it's, when I'm when I'm when I'm when I'm frustrated, when I'm upset, it, you, the, 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 them palpitations never seem to happen. <laughs> yeah. I wonder why. I wonder how that happens. Uh, uh, let's go to comment number two. Number two. Comment number two says, "This is why I trick less complicated." All right now. We we already uh, know that's my man right, right now. there, boy. Yeah, he like yeah. It ain't tricking if you got it. <laughs> Look, look, look at her, y'all. Forty dollars. Look at her, y'all. What? She ain't laughing now. Hey, she ain't look, laughing now. If I was that type of person, I could trick too. Two can play that game. Yep. Can okay. come easy for you. <laughs> Let me tell you. Do you want to be a trick? No, I don't. Yeah. So that's the that's that's a mute point because we we want a trick. Like <laughs> that's the thing. Like y'all get the tricking done to you. We're the doing the trick. Yeah. Don't don't get it effed up. Okay. Us women can trick too. But why would it you want to be y'all? It comes, the, look, it comes very easy. But y'all are if, the if, if, y'all are the catch. If you, you are be the tricking. person that's very charismatic, and I'm a big flirter, so it's like it's easy for me. But y'all are the catch. Why are y'all doing the tricking? You should never that, do the trick. You, you just heard her. You just heard it from her mouth. Hey. Mm -hmm. She is the catch, and it comes easy for her. And here it is. I'm trying to get her a nice little old sugar daddy white man. And she don't want it. And she don't want it. See the contradiction? <laughs> and she don't want it. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm, try, I'm trying to get to that man with that bare First belly all, and that I never and that said that I wanted to cat. trick. Bear I belly? just said I could if I wanted to. But bear, I just I said in the beginning that's not what I'm into. Bare belly, baseball, and bank account. Mm-hmm. The next, three B's. Next, yeah, yeah. Well, we're trying comment, to get to the three B's. Next comment. Oh my God. Here we go. Next, next comment. comment <laughs> since T wants us to move on. Next comment is she's like a black woman. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Really? Do I gotta come over there and slap both of y'all? No. no. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. See, just a, a y'all. Y'all bully. enjoying y'all. Here y'all we like. <laughs> All right. Comment number three. Last comment. Thanks to social media and the internet, men are already aware of a woman's nature. Yeah. I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree because as if he wants to pay attention enough. But but before you didn't know that all of these women felt like this because you only had you yeah. Know, but now uh, that they do, and they still don't pay attention. Oh no, we pay attention. That's why we, or well, not we. That's why they, you know, move how they move. And that's why I hate the term soft guy era. I don't like that. But I understand like guys are now putting their standards first. It's not just like I'm gonna see what she want and then I'm gonna do. No, it's like no, I'm gonna do what I want. And if she don't, if she ain't come, if she don't meet the criteria, bye bye. Yeah, for real, drizzle, 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 drizzle. 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying. We got standards now. We ain't putting up with just. Oh, so you trying to say y'all didn't have standards before? Well, we had standards. We put them to the back because we wanted to, uh, you know, we, we wanted to we wanted to put them. our women first. Yeah, we wanted to impress them and, and, yeah. and, and make sure that they had what they needed. But, so then, you, but we started seeing that we, it wasn't being reciprocated, and so we like, well, wait, I'm not gonna put my best foot forward, and she ain't even putting her toes out. It ain't we no, we ain't mm-hmm. having that. So now, yeah. what you gotta say about that? Playing field hey. gotta be a little bit even. Now. I'm always the type of person I'm learning. I'm always listening. So I, I got you. You got that? I got you. I guess I'm, I, I'm always about. paying attention. Oh no, you got. I'm, I'm receptive. You gotta make these black women listen. Yep. All they, they get hard headed. Hit them upside the head. Look, I, I'm, I'm drag I'm, them in the I cage. Am, I am in submission mode. Do them things. They want you to do them things to them. Oh, it's <laughs> getting deep. What things? Los. Yeah. Uh, Skinny Mac pa- after dark. <laughs> yeah. That's Patreon. After yeah. Dark. Yeah. Patreon. Yeah, this joint after dark, y'all. That's gonna be our new Patreon channel. <laughs> yeah. You wanna know? You wanna know what things? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> them things you lock the door before your kids bust it. <laughs> Jump them, back. Turn that music up. Yeah, I hate <laughs> turn that <them> music. Yes. <laughs> yeah, turn turn that yeah, music. Yeah. Up. Hey, turn the TV up. Get off my mommy. <laughs> get off my mommy. You beat my mommy. No, yes, I, I am beating your mommy. Look, no, I've we just never, wrestling. We just playing <laughs> WWE. Nope. I've never had that. You know, you never had that issue. Nope. Your, I've kid, always, your I've kids always, never busting on you? Nope. No, because oh number one, I've not always, one time. Not one time. I have taught my kids from very young ages if my door is closed, knock first. Yeah, to this day, they still the do it. Ob- to this day, you I got the most God. obedient yeah, kids yeah, in the world. Yeah, I'm not the saying they're the it. most obedient, but let me tell you something. They know I don't play them games. And number two, I've always respected my house and my kids. To the point where if I'm doing something like that, I'm not. I'm. I don't do it at home. I go to. Yeah. So you gonna disrespect a, my man's house? <laughs> but yeah, yo, 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 yo. Because <laughs> see what well, I mean? Well, I go to his house uh, and then it's so like I can just disrespect my look, woman. I can go to his house and I can just do whatever I oh, want. I ain't yeah, just disrespect my, look, my my damn kids. I ain't kid, being quiet. I can just do whatever. Yeah. Hey. You got my kids all traumatized. Right. <laughs> Daddy, what is that noise over there? Oh, no, I'm working. I'm, I'm doing construction. <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing construction in the bedroom. At midnight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put his, I'm putting his bench together. <laughs> you know, he, like, he going to school the next day. Shit, my daddy, my daddy, he be, my daddy be putting be, stuff together. He be all yeah. Yes. Yeah, he got a jackhammer yeah. in this room. <laughs> <laughs> my, dad, yeah, my daddy be drilling. My dad be putting stuff together oh at any time. Right, look, let's go to video. You know what? Anyway, let's go to video number. <laughs> Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? We at video number two? Number two. Video number. No, 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 no. Y'all, let's get. Yeah, she finally got it. Cause you hating over there, CJ. Yeah, I mean, so hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me make sure I, I got it. I got it set. I got it. Cause you know I don't want T to get on me. Cause you know she be on, she be on me. Look, I ain't even gonna say nothing. Like a one-legged stepmother. <laughs> Video number two. <laughs> I just can't imagine at this age. Y'all are repeating. I'm listening. I just can't imagine. At this age, let's see what it is. Yeah. It's this John podcast. Oh, let's go. Not judging y'all or nothing, but how do y'all be talking to them older men, like the ones that's in their fifties, sixties? 
they scare me. <laughs> when they be trying to talk to me, I be like, ew, like, how old are you? I feel like I'm, a, I'm still a kid sometimes. I can't believe we're the new adults. But I'm in my mid-20s. Like, as a 50, 60-year-old man, what do you want with me? I don't have nothing for you, like, <laughs> respectfully. I don't know. I just can't. I just can't. And then, like, laying down with them? Ugh, no, I can't. <laughs> with me. Now, you, did you want to you, you know how old See? I am? I'm old enough to blow that back out. See, you know what? <laughs> you little young Roni. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? I'm old enough to give you this Bobby Brown. <laughs> Let me just tell you something from a little bit of experience that I've had. Y'all go what, with, with the sugar some, daddy with some of the older guys. The, you ain't blowing nothing on, out. You been with you been with some uh some pre some pre senior citizens. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't sleep on our older five guys. Go ahead, go ahead, come on, tell, give you me. You with some fifty year olds? No. Oh. What's the you? oldest? Oh, but you know what? Wait a minute. I am in. I'm trying to see. Yeah, because I got to think about how old I am now. Yeah, he had to be in his fifties. Yeah, yeah. Let me, listen, man. Let me tell. You, I'm. I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna tell her. Ain't nothing wrong with messing with a guy in his fifties. Listen, we know how to blow that back out. <laughs> we listen. We For know. What? Let me. Let Three me seconds. What? <laughs> man, you give. Look, you give me the purple people leader. Okay. Oh, I kill it. <laughs> Look, let me tell you, look, let me tell you something. I, man, I had, when she get out that bed, she be like, what's that? I'm like, that's your uterus, bitch. Oh, wow. I need you to take it with you. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need you to take that with you. Don't leave this motherfucker here. Listen. Yeah, I mean, I got enough of them in my closet. Oh, no, God. <laughs> Listen. You collected them? The uterus collector is wild. <laughs> <laughs> got a shirt that's yeah, the uterus man. collector. Oh, Lord. You know, yeah, like, you, you, know you, what? you know how you meet a girl and she be leaving panties and all that? I, I'm talking to you. I'm talk, talking to him. First of all. You know how you meet a girl and she be trying to leave panties and all yeah, she believe in that uterus in my crib. I'm like, girl, come on and pick up your no, fucking you uterus. No, you know what? Sometimes girls be doing that, that crap purposely. Oh, Just, yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah, let me leave something here to see if it's still in the same spot when I come back. <laughs> like, yeah. literally me, I'm the type of person, if I left something, it was not intentional. It's like, damn, probably because I'm rushing, That's which is why... I swear to God, I don't want to leave nothing at, your, at nobody's house. Listen, mm. El Boogie said, what she won't do, another one will. Come get this rent money. Come get this yeah. rent money. Let's get El Boogie right there. Let's get El When it get deep, come get this rent money, man. Yeah. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, motherfucker. T.Y., let me tell you something, T.Y. You know, T.Y. know what she know what the, us, us older men do. We we do them things that them young boys don't want to do. We do them things. They blowing bubbles in your butt with a strong facts. Yeah, I mean, but yo, you, let me tell you something, baby. You want that cell phone paid? Look, T.Y., it's been here. a come minute since here. I saw you. Where come you been hiding? I've been needing your backup. Like, you got to make sure you come every week. You know, you got to have my back. What happened? Where you been for the past, like, two months? Look, Shit, I'll take, I'll like, take look, them bubbles. Look. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yo, you gotta say that for Patreon. <laughs> this joy, <joint>. yeah. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> you know I mean? but for real, but for real though, though T, tell me, T, tell me, hmm? when when, tell when, when you was young, was you like turned off when old men were trying to crack on you? No, no, actually, that's what I used to do with. Oh, oh, oh you the shit. old, so you like, the old head collector. So <laughs> nobody's had like this mature mindset. So like guys that was my age was just like so immature for me. So I would say the. Anybody that I was dealing with was always probably about nine or 10 years or a little oh, bit more like older. older. Okay. I learned a lot from them. I ain't realized that they was like taking advantage of me, but I learned a lot. Oh, Made me yeah. the woman that I'm today. So she was getting the ball away. She don't need to clap. Let's give her this right here, boy. She need, she need that purr sound right there. <laughs> boy, you know what? When you hear that right there, boy. You better put that dick in hide. <laughs> she coming for you, y'all. You hear that? You just see all the old heads like. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Is that the best? <laughs> yeah, man. You know, you know it's 7 o'clock. <laughs> oh, man. So let's go to the comments, y'all. Let's go to the comments. So where we at? We at com comment number one. <laughs> Being a single mother and paying bills scare me. They all your choices. What? That's all your choices, sis. All right, it yeah. just don't make no sense. That's you all your choices. No, no, it makes perfect. It makes perfect sense. That's all her choices. She chose all that. Us all here is we we pay bills. 
We pay bills. It's called responsibility. That's what it's called. Responsibility. Uh, she didn't want to be responsible by herself, so. Yeah. She said, come on, uh, what's the old head name? Yeah, and, er, and er, at some Ernesto. point. Yeah. <laughs> Ernesto. When, you, Ernesto. when you get that old sugar daddy that passes away, then what? Hopefully he put you on the insurance policy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, look, let's go to comment number two. Look, comment number two says, LOL, I'm 35 and my man is 58. It works for me. I can't do that kind of gap. I don't want you no sixty-two-year-old woman. I'm cool. But, but so, so this, when this, this you're Martha, this Miss Martha, you talking about? How old you think she gonna be? I'm just saying for the sugar mama, not to be my woman. Oh, okay. No. All right. Now I, again, I, I'm, I appreciate up, you up, differentiating the two. Let me, let me rewind that a little bit. If the universe sees it fit that Courtney B. Vance divorces one Angela, come on, mama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hollering. <laughs> I'm right in the DM. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Angela, yeah. is, she's stupid. Uh, whatever. It's seven o'clock on the dot. <laughs> and my drop top. Men in the streets. streets. Ah! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> hey. Hello. T. Yes. I know we talked about this before. Talked about what? You sound like what, my what, dad. What, 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 that's right. Get your ass in that room. You know what I mean? But what was the who well, all what was the oldest age gap that you ever Dated. Oldest, I want to say maybe about 14 years. What Was it a good experience? I mean, all of them was something I learned from. I mean, he was Word. cool. I mean, at the time, I didn't realize like he had a whole nother... That you didn't know about? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, how was his stamina? It was good. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you went right to the gust. Yeah, go, yeah, I yeah, mean. yeah, I mean, see, and this is the thing, like, because he had an apartment, but obviously he had a house, too. Wait a minute, whoa, he had a house and an apartment? Mm -hmm. Do you still got his oh, number? I need to call. Yeah, because that's, yeah, that's where the wife was at. I found Ooh. out about the wife. Do you still have his Hold number? I just, I no, need to, I don't. I want to know if he has his master class. <laughs> no. Oh, I, before, before we go to the next video, y'all, hold on, y'all. I need to know, how the hell did you find out? Come on now. What did, what did me and T.Y. just tell you? Detectives. Can, hey, it's not about being a detective. It's just that patterns, when... Guys, what y'all don't realize is like y'all always tend to have the same patterns, and when y'all start switching up, it's like, all right, hold up, what's going on, fellas? If you're listening, <laughs> you're watching out there in the worldwide. Y'all know y'all patterns though. This is the one thing you need to do: stop having patterns. Just be wild. <laughs> be all over the place. Yeah, just just, just be so unpredictable. One day talk to her for two hours, and then don't talk to her for three weeks. <laughs> just keep it. Just keep it very very spontaneous. Mm. If you're a cheater. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm delivered. I don't do that, but do your thing. He used to be the president. So look, let's go to comment number three. I'm in my 30s, and I used to feel like this too, but um, things change, especially if they don't look their age. Okay. See, it's different for women. I don't know how women are, but like, I mean, yeah, it's different for women, but like as men, like <clears throat> if you see a woman aging, like you th when I think about like, the Tarajis, the Jadas, the Nia Longs, are like they still fine. And I know mm -hmm. they in Hollywood, mm -hmm. but I'm just using them as examples. Like they in their fifties and they fine. Some of my homies are in their mid thirties and they, they look cooked. horrible. So I don't know about the woman. <laughs> He's that cook. They cook. <laughs> yeah. They looking like pop pops. Yeah, and like now like, at my age, like the guys, they don't, they don't, they are not that very attractive because they just, they just look worn the hell out. That's why I'm in the gym six days a week. Cause oh, yeah, I for sure. It's funny because it's like, okay, when I was younger, I went to the older guys and then it was like, at one point I did start dealing with younger guys, mm -hmm. but it was like, okay, oh no, you, you too much like my damn son. I'm like, no, I can't do this. Uh, okay. 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 So yes, we know it. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Y'all tell us what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, man, we would need to know what is the age gap that you've dated. I want to know what, what they say. What Aaliyah say? Age ain't nothing but a number. That's a damn lie. <laughs> damn, he can't real, real quick. Damn lie. Real quick. Love you to death, Ice Spice, but I don't want nobody in that yeah. generation. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go to uh, number three? Yeah, number three. Number three. T. T. What is it? T. What is video number three? Number. Quecho. No, Quecho is not a word. Well, right. how, how do you pronounce? Did she just say. How, how do you pronounce it? I forgot. What the now. fuck did he <laughs> just say? Tres. <laughs> So, wait, hold up, hold up. What was I thinking? You're oh, thinking of cuatro. Cuatro. That's four. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, we, I had to think about it for a second. I oh was my getting God, this. We, it, Some listen, of my water. Listen, y'all. Bless her heart. I appreciate our <laughs> disjoint family uh, throwing that up in the chat. <laughs>
Thank you, El Boogie. El Boogie had he had to put you in your place. All right, look what we got. Video number three. Looks matter. Accept uh, it and move on. Uh, uh, y'all ain't okay. gonna like this one. <laughs> they do matter. So let's they do matter. Play the video. Yeah, let's go. Because okay. I can't just be with somebody that it's I'm not physically Mr. attracted to. But I'm waiting to see what this video is. Let's go. I'm a fat old black ass nigga. Looks matter. They matter. I just turned 40 this past March, and one of my biggest regrets is not realizing just how important looks are and how much your appearance matters in this world. Human beings are naturally superficial. It's a part of our biology. It's ingrained in us. We can't help it. We are biased toward treating people who look good better. It's just the facts of life. The faster you realize this and the faster you accept this, the better off you will be in the long run. There are a lot of aspects about yourself that you can't change, but the ones that you can change them as quickly as possible while you are still young and you have the energy, the flexibility, the agility, the time and the resources to really work on yourself and your appearance. I'm working on my stuff right now as we speak. I've had a number of health setbacks over the years, but I can tell you that <sighs> getting on social media and seeing all the reactions that I have gotten to my appearance not that it has had a psychological impact on me in a way, because I already, I mean, I'm, I'm fundamentally aware of the fact that, you know, I'm overweight. But, but I think for me, it was kind of bittersweet just seeing the reaction because it's like I, you just realize that as human beings, we just can't help but to be judgmental and to be superficial. And there's no use in trying to fight that. And if you really want to mitigate the stress of constantly worrying about your appearance, because it is a fixable issue for most people, for the vast majority of people, it's fixable. You just got to work on it. You just got to take the time, sit down, do your due diligence and put in the time and effort to really work on your appearance and how you want others to perceive you physically. That is now your personality. That's all. It's a whole different story. I'm only talking about talking about looks in this particular context. So that being said, if you're in your 20s, you're in your 30s, while you still have the energy, while you still have the time because you may not have kids and a wife yet, please work on yourself. And even after you have kids and a wife, still work on yourself, work on yourself, keep up with your appearances because people are going to judge you whether you want them to or not. So it's just just facts of life. There's no use in complaining about it. There's no use in trying to, you know, make videos on TikTok, trying to get other people to, you know, rally against, you know, body shaming or we got to be more blah, blah, blah. No, just stop. There's no point. It is what it is. Looks matter. I mean, he made a point, but I'm not that shallow to just like, you know, <clears throat> Just look at somebody and just because they're overweight and be like, oh, yeah. okay, no, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I need to be physically attracted to you for me to okay. be in some kind of relationship. But at the end of the day, it's like, okay, yeah, you could be working on yourself physically. But if you don't appease me physically in your face or let's just say personality, I ain't giving you the time of the day. Yeah, I mean, well, first, it's been several men that I met that was like very attractive, but very, very their their character was horrible so it was a, like a complete turn off nah yep complete yeah. I, I mean why well, I, I at first I mean listen I don't talk about people appearances you know I mean look I'm I am not a handsome motherfucker but I can get the gab I'm beautiful I, I, beautiful I, I, damn it I, I boy let me tell you something boy I talk your panties down boy yeah hey, hey, what yeah hey, hey, that boy right there he was dropping some knowledge. I, I agree. I mean, there are some things that you can work on. Right. You know what I mean? If you, if you don't have the looks, at least have the swag. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, I ain't got the looks, but when I come in this motherfucker, <laughs> everybody knows I'm in the building. Look, have that confidence. Yeah, no have that what. confidence. I'm in the building. They be like, right. oh, you ugly. Yes, confidence, I'm ugly. Confidence matters. First no of matter all, I got what. a big jaw. If Claude Winslow don't take his ass somewhere, there's no way in the world that he is younger than Michelle, Beyonce, and Kelly. 
<laughs> There's no way. He's not forty. He oh, must have. He must have. This. He. He definitely recorded this. <laughs> Clyde Winslow. Clyde Winslow got a chill. You know what? I believe him. He is out of pocket. Let me tell you something. I had this experience. This one guy. He told me to get on a date and app. You know. He was yeah. like, "All right, look. You know, you having a hard Some time." Some internet pimping. He said, you having okay. a difficult time, you know, like meeting somebody that's, like, you know, of your caliber. He's like, get on a dating app. I got on that dating app. I was on it for two weeks. Everybody that was so-called my age looked like him. Yo, look, let me tell you something. Let me, they let me tell you something. old yeah. as hell. First of all, I black, said, oh, black no. don't crack. When black, black don't crack. If you see, Lois is in the, I'm, I'm in my 50s. But when I see some women in their fifties, I be like, "Oh my lord, baby girl, you had a bad paper route." Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking. You were delivering the Enquirer, and you remember the Enquirer back in the day. Yeah, boy. <laughs> but but as long as you take care of yourself, right? Especially your mental health. Mm-hmm. Take care of your body right. physically. You know what I mean? Know how to talk to people. Know know how to move. And you know what I mean? You in and out of these joints right there. Mm-hmm. You I'm telling you, you're good. Listen, you're good. I am um, vertically challenged, <laughs> and so as time went by, and you know, being the young athlete that I was, he said vertically challenged. Vertically yeah, challenged. Being like okay, <laughs> like short. I, if hey, someone hey, say hey, you hey. short. They'd be like this, why, well, my twin don't say, man, what's your twin? My dick! <laughs> <laughs> so, being vertically challenged as, you know, uh, I'm... Couple, I wouldn't even consider it a challenge. Why do you consider it a challenge? It's, cha- it's a challenge. It's it seems average to me, bro, if you ask me. I'm, I'm, I'm close, but I ain't, I ain't all the way there. But anyway, being vertically challenged and, and approaching my 40s, you know, in a couple months, I was standing in the mirror one day and I said, hmm... I can't be fat and short. I got to pick a struggle. <laughs> and so it was at that point, I said, I'm going to get my ass back in the gym. And I got to pick a struggle. I got to pick a struggle. And since the height one, I can't change because I'm not getting my kneecaps extended or whatever that crazy stuff you doing. That stuff sound like it hurt. <laughs> I'm going just I'm I'm a work on my physical. And so it's like again, I know me, I'm a strong 7. And when I get my hair cut, I'm like 7.8. All right? I know this. He be getting his sexy so back, yo. To me, it's you like, yeah, let me work CJ on this part. When he get his hair let cut. me work on this part. And then, you know, they'll see me a little bit more. So my whole thing is it's the same thing. Like, mm-hmm. if you know where your struggles are. CJ okay? CJ gonna be on Patreon with his shirt off, y'all. If you yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, listen, yeah, 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 yeah. forty two ninety nine. But listen, if you know you got a couple uh like hot dog packets in the back of your neck. Get rid of them. Get he you some of these, uh, you know, some neck m- m- neck um, exercises. If you know you're a little heavy around the tummy, slow down on the meaty gravy. Uh, a little alcohol, a little bit less. Get you some mushroom yeah, coffee yeah, to get rid of the bloating. Let me tell you something. That mushroom coffee is the shit. I'm telling you. Yo. And I don't drink coffee, but I'm just saying. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell, right right tell you right right now. I'm telling you right right now. That mushroom coffee works. It does. I need to try. I was skinny fat, and it took my stuff. It mm-hmm. took like all the bloating out. Oh, mm-hmm. I need to try that. Yes. That, yeah. Let me tell you. I ordered it, and then I ordered it again. Okay. I got like two joints downstairs. Boy, that that mushroom. I was like, oh shit, that shit. Really. Now I'm gonna tell you right now. You in the bathroom? You will poop. <laughs> oh, like Lord. you never poop before. <laughs> but once it's in your system. Oh, you good? Well, I mean, will it take? Because I go, I month on a monthly basis, I go get a colon cleanse. So, I mean, will it take place of a colon cleanse? Like, I mean, hey, because I know I need. I that's that's my struggle. Well, I'm gonna tell you this: is like, like I go to, I go to, and we talk about this so doing our air, but I go to the bathroom regularly because the shit works. That okay. mushroom coffee works. This all right, so. I need to try it. Then you try it. All right, try so it. So just get your get yourself together. Like, uh, I'm not saying you gotta go out. And become a bodybuilder, or you got to look like uh, AJ Brown. Like you ain't got to do that. But I mean, again, if you if you wanna you wanna you know show up a little bit different, show up a little bit different. Like, mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. and that's for men and women. Like, again, I am a big um, hater, if you want to call it, of them dumbass baby hairs. Leave that sh- stuff alone. 
get your ass in the gym because we don't care about your baby here okay but if you taking off your clothes and you unloading like a pack of biscuits it's we like wait whoa you didn't got on spanks shlanks yeah. spanks clanks blanks all that stuff you gotta come on just do your thing i know females yeah. that literally when they got their clothes on they are two Look, and then when you in the room with them and they take it off, it just falls out. They are 22. Oh Rasputia. They yeah. go from Kelly rolling to Rasputia. Dang. Quick. So oh, you hear pop, 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 pop. You think somebody got uh, sparklers and, you know, them little joints you throw on the ground. The little, uh, like, I'm like, how do you breathe in that crap? I know. That's they don't what, care. That's the song they be playing. They struggling, but they don't care. That's the song they be playing on the way to the man house. How yeah. do I breathe? <laughs> that, that's well, how let's go to comment number one. So we got comment number one people with low self-esteem praise good looks over personality life is beautiful no stop you don't think it's, so, a, it's no. a combination of things it's looks it's character it's personality you know i mean once again you know cj's biggest thing is marketplace so you know but it's not just about looks I, and i've already said that it's not but it's the initial attraction right and we can't we can't get around that so right. again i don't want to i don't want to uh offend anybody but like if we just speak in facts the girl gabare sidibe that played precious she's mm. not going to get more looks than kelly Rowland. it just is what it is that's just factual nobody's like making that up or trying to hurt her feelings it just is what it is Kelly yes, Rowland is more attractive. So she's going to get more looks up front. Now, again, if Kelly Rowland is an asshole or she got a bad personality or bad character, then afterwards, yeah, then it, it might change. But initially, if they standing in the room and them two are next to each other, unfortunately, yeah, Gabrielle's not going right. to get as much looks as Kelly Rowland. So right. that's that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. if, you, if you take care of yourself and you look good, cool. Because there's some guys who don't like thin women there's some guys who don't like you know thick curvy women there's some some guys who prefer bbw but it's all according to how you package it so it's just being attractive up front you have to be because if not you're going to be at the back of the you line get, you bro. get past yeah. Yeah. yeah so comment number two unfortunately this is 10 times more true for women than it is for men t is that true what you mean like 10 times more true than for women than men like that looks what? matter because i mean because you know men I us think, men no. we really we I, I really mean, don't care how we look okay so you know what the then if that's the case you need to answer that because i know i i know for me for as a woman yes like i've already said i need to you, you got to be physically attracted to me but you just said as a man that you'll pass a woman that's that's physically attractive so i mean i don't know i can't speak for y'all guys i'll say it like this think of this so if you see a, a guy and just say he his hands is all like dirty he might look like muddy or whatever he look like dirty i'm i'm, you can, I'm gonna automatically think he coming from work exactly but if you see a woman in that same manner she's a dirt ball you see what i'm saying so it's different how you see it women will uh, uh, equate certain traits that they see in a man and be like oh he probably x y or z if we see a woman and she look like she got stains on her shirt she looking all disheveled and unkept we're gonna be like oh yeah she she from the projects i'm cool mm. and so it, it, there is a difference M women kind of see more on the again on the inner they're more inner more emotional more like okay they don't really they're not as surface level whereas men we it's like if you own it from like i said from the rip if you don't look good the majority of us is going to pass it's going to be a, a hard yep. no all right so go to comment number three yes people are shallow unfortunately mm -hmm. yes yeah and i've said is that, that true is that true yeah i said that and i said because i'm i'm not a shallow person so you know I'll give somebody a chance. Like literally, I, I could think of a, a, a guy I talked to before, and I'm like, oh, what, what, what are you saying? Is now I'm is, like, what the hell was it, I thinking? I, I was about to ask you. <laughs> so did you get the ugly man? So 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 he looked no, like Clyde Winslow. No. Oh, oh wait, hold on, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you ain't never given an ugly man. You never hit a Clyde Winslow. You no. never gave an ugly man no, no goodies. No. I didn't hit a oh, couple. Oh, you were so fucking. Wolf so, you were so fucking selfish. 
Ain't nothing wrong with hitting somebody so ugly. So you never hit no Clyde Winslow's. No, I've never. You no. never gave an ugly man no goodies. See, y'all, y'all both asked me the two different questions at you? the same damn time. So he said CJ, Clyde Winslow. CJ, all right, all right, to answer, to answer uh, CJ's uh, question, uh, ugly big man. C- C- How about that answer both at the same C- time? To God answer man. CJ's question, no, I did not talk to him. Um, he, the guy that you know, a couple guys that was like you know on the heavier side. They were a little disappointed and they end up being friend zoned. And to answer your question, Los, did I ever give an ugly dude the, some Did you want to know? No, because I am I am so like when it comes to that, if if I can't <laughs> I done hit a couple booger wolves in my day, sorry. Hey, let me tell you something, man. Ain't nothing wrong I, with. I can't. Ain't nothing I wrong can't. with giving a little, 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 because little, ugly, yeah, little, little something. Not, because it's like I. I can think of two. Ah, uh, yeah, you know I mean. I can think of two girls I, right I, now. What? Right now that I hit them. That look like Shrek wife. Oh God! Now, let me. What? First Sorry. of all, Le- uh, Viona. What's her name? Leona. She ain't ugly. She just got a big nose. No, it's Fiona. Fiona, that's right. Get it right. Look, this, it. You know, you can tell it's been a while since I had a child, but. Yeah. Hey, listen. Hold on, wait. All right, hold on. <laughs> so, <laughs> T.Y. says, I had one guy with, the, did she say a big dingling? Yes, hey, she did. Hey, you got to keep that for Patreon. And, it, <laughs> and, was, <laughs> and he was okay looking. Look, T.Y., we ain't going to get into T- those. T.Y., that's right. Look, that's, right. that's a whole nother discussion because we we can talk about that now. <laughs> <laughs> so you did, so you did T-Y, it all. T Y said. T Y said. I don't care how you look. I'm gonna do my business, and then you gotta Let go home. Me, hey, we T-Y, gonna call you instead we, of instead of pleasure P. We gonna call you pleasure T. Yeah, <laughs> you was all about the pleasure. Let huh? T hit the shit. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> what, what you about <laughs> to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what, what you about to get into? <laughs> what, you, what, what you about to get into? Because uh, you got to go home. <laughs> now, look, so was we at comment number three? Did yeah, we yeah comment? that was yeah. Yes, we did. So listen, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. And subscribe. Tell us what you think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So look, let's go to video number four. We have video number four. Wow. Uh, she ain't, she T, hit it, T. Up. Hit it, T. He already said it. He said, no, I, I want to hear. I want to hear you say it. Four. <laughs> you have a G. Just, just like a black woman. Did you just call woman. me a heifer? And did you just call me a Jezebel? Just like a black woman. Oh, okay. I just like a black woman. Jezebel. I'm about to say what? <laughs> yeah, of course. You know. I got oh my God! Hey, just, here we go, y'all. See, that's do. that's the theme for tonight. Just like a black woman. Just like a black. Woman. All right, look. Video number four. <laughs> the reason why behind the reason the real reason behind the migrate crisis. Credit motion and success. Okay. Yeah, I mean, let's go. It's Bitch Strong Podcast. Oh. Let's go. Why is the borders open, though? Because the United States is in a real tough pickle right now. In my generation, we worked hard. I worked for Verizon. But my kids, your generation, y'all not going to do sanitation work, pick up garbage. Y'all not going to be postal workers. Y'all not going to be electricians. You're not going to be plumbers. You're not going to do constructions. Y'all starting podcasts. Y'all thinking about other ways of making money. What does that mean if these jobs are not being filled? They create programs for the migrants where they're giving them rent. They're giving them money. In Chicago, they have a program where they give them $9,000 every six months. So that's $18,000 a year for rent. That's an average of about fifteen dollars to $1,300 a month. That's good rent that's good. for somebody, yeah. right? So now they're living in all these places. Your generation, you, your kids. Y'all are not buying houses, bro. So you know what that is? Y'all not getting mortgages. United States needs people to get mortgages. Y'all are not going to college no more. Y'all not creating college debt. United States needs college debt. Y'all are entrepreneurs. Y'all are not joining the military. The military is depleted. That's why they're having things like proxy wars, where they got the drones dropping bombs because they don't have enough military. Y'all are not doing the things that I did, my grandparents did when they came here. So they bringing in millions of new people who are going to do these things. Generation, all these kids, they just want to be rappers. Like everybody wants to be a rapper. Yeah. Everybody wants yeah. to be an influencer. Like yeah. I've, I've said it to my, myself, to my sons. Like who's going because to it's take, easy. Who's going to take care of us when we are older, when we are elderly? Like who's going to be our doctors? Who's going to be our nurses? Like who's going to be our caregivers? Who's going to be our lawyers? I don't know, because if I depend on Gia to take care of me, boy, she be on that goddamn cell phone talking uh, about, 
Oh shit, Daddy, you okay? I even had you on choking on my spit. <laughs> I just think we don't, we don't, we don't, um, we don't uh, like push or we don't market the blue collar anymore. No, and most people no, don't even don't. know like the blue collar is where you can actually make the most money because it has the most opportunity. When you go to again to be a podcaster and or a blogger or all too. that stuff, that stuff takes sometimes years to become unless you're already a celebrity but if you're just a regular joe schmo that stuff takes time or mm -hmm. money year to but, get there but see they think it's easy yeah. they think it's instant easy success yeah, and it's not yeah, I mean, but it's when, not, when it's not but you yeah. gotta think about it like cj saying with the blue collar like you gotta think about longevity what are you gonna do when you retire like uh when you working on blue collar jobs yeah you're putting into your future mm -hmm. like you'll get that pension like me, I know I would get me an I once I retire, I get me a nice little pension. But you I know just, how many years I've been working with my job. I know if if I known what I had known now when I was a kid, I probably might not have went to college. I would have went to electrician school and became a master right. electrician. Yeah. And to wire a house for three days from start to finish is ten thousand dollars. That's for, that's in three days. So imagine it's there's seven days in a week. So you mean to tell me I can make damn near twenty grand in a week? Just by yeah. wiring so two college, houses. College trade, I look at that as it, the same thing. Cause like even like with my kids, I never forced them. I said, look, only thing I want you to do is to graduate high school. Once you graduate high school, once you do and figure your life out on your own, but getting a trade is awesome. Yeah. You know, it helps. Yeah. You know, it builds up your skills. You know, and so and, and, and college is not for everybody. And the one thing about trades is that trade you can always it always gives you a, a the ability to be your own boss right whereas if you work at uh like he said verizon okay you just say you are um a project manager or something well if you lose that project manager job you can't just now become your own project manager you would have mm -hmm. to get clients and then you know market to them and, and hope, them. yeah whereas tomorrow if i'm if i'm a plumber if i know how to do plumbing tomorrow i can go on facebook marketplace i can go on indeed i can go to any type of angie's list and i can look up somebody who needs a plumber yeah. and then boom tomorrow i could be doing some plumbing work right so it's like, like yeah. a couple yeah. hundred yeah. dollars yeah. Yeah. So one like, little job. most most people yeah. don't so, they don't yeah they don't promote that so that, before i read the comment the first comment my man l plock you know what let me get plock let me get plock some love since plock is in the building my man l plock all in the building y'all Plug up. So my man Plug says, the problem is that these kids aren't stupid. They see their parents struggle and they don't want to do the same thing. That, that's a that's a that's a valid point. Yeah. yeah. That's a and valid it, point. It is valid, but what I will add to it is that um I think that a lot of not a lot, there's um some parents who didn't have a plan. They, they weren't focused on doing something. So now they're in the midst of the struggle. And yeah, then the kid's like, well, wait, I see you doing this. And this ain't where I don't want to do that. So I think that, again, if you, I, me personally, like my children, I would want them to follow their passions, but still have a transferable skill that right. if things get if things get crazy, they get hectic, the world shuts down again or whatever, mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. use this skill to go make some money. Yep. Make some Podcasting, and you ain't gonna be able to get into the in front of the mic day one and make some money. Uh, being an influencer, you ain't gonna be able to get in front of the mic day one and make and, or in front of the camera day one and make money. So it's like have some type of hands-on skill that you can take and then you can you know sit down talk to some people and then boom tomorrow you can start making some money for sure so let's go to the first comment first comment it's true because it's not worth it anymore these kids see how hard we work and they don't want it same thing this blog just said mm -hmm. yeah same thing blog just said and again only time success comes before work is in a dictionary so right. like if you think that you're going to just I don't know, half ass it and you gonna become the next LeBron James? Yeah, you're, you're sadly mistaken. You gonna half ass it and become the next Tyler Perry? Sadly mistaken. You gonna half ass and become the next um Ice Spice. It's not gonna happen. Sadly mistaken. Yeah, it's not yeah. gonna happen. <laughs> and that's the part that they just that's something in them that they gotta get through. Yeah. All right, so comment number two. Housing and college are both unaffordable. Now that is true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. What do you think, um, T? And I think I would say over the recent years, especially with high interest rates and everything mm -hmm. and rent skyrocketing, 
yeah housing is is, is very expensive um which is why a lot of people are you know getting houses or renting houses and having roommates me i like i like i, I like my peace because yeah, like you like to walk around naked i like to have my house <laughs> <laughs> Look, this I like my privacy. Yeah, okay. I like to do what I want to do when I want to do it. Uh, you hear y'all? This joint after dark. dark, dark. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, <laughs> comment number three. This is partially wrong. People want to buy houses, but the investment firms are buying up all the houses and, driving, up and driving the prices that way up. True. That is true. Is, that, is true. that true? Bro? That's that is absolutely very, true. very, very, very true. That's they absolutely turn true. This country into a renter's. Uh, country. Yeah. So yeah, we were just having that discussion. The average house. There. I follow this guy on Instagram like religiously. He's a realtor out of Orlando, and he the mm-hmm. average house is four hundred thousand dollars, but the average salary is eighty. Yeah, and so you don't even you, with that eighty thousand um, dollar salary, mm-hmm. you don't even qualify for the average house. Right. But the, so and nobody the sad get, like, part about it is like buying. with this renting now these days is like they want you to make three times the rent. But if you got to think about it, if you're renting something that's, let's say, eighteen hundred, eighteen hundred dollars a month and yeah. then everybody's and we already talked about the the, the average salary. If somebody mm-hmm. has an average salary that's of, 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 of thirty two thousand dollars a year, they're already below it. But, yeah. you know, people can finagle it. But, you know, it's just crazy, yeah. especially with these investors. They have made rent expensive is all yeah hell. we know you can't afford to buy it so we got we're gonna make the rent high because you ain't got no other is. choice yeah but yeah. which which doesn't make sense because at the end of the day the rent is higher than the actual mortgage mm. yeah, ain't that something that don't make sense that's why you need to get yourself one of these old heads See? Old head Marlene. Like, your old head like Lokes you Miss, know what I mean Mr. I pay that rent Miss Dolores I'm ready for the rest <laughs> of the tour <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Look hey. at him. Let me find out. Hey. He sounds like he already got him. Listen, so. I'll be in Miss Dolores DM. Hey, you need me to bring you any um any uh yeast or any baking soda or bacon flour or whatever you do to make them pies and cakes? Hey. Miss Dolores, let me know. If you need a little you need some mothballs, <laughs> you need a, let me know. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm talking about. Well, look, <laughs> make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. Let's go to video number five. We doing number video five. number five, y'all? Cinco. No, man. Stop. Oh, stop. I want her. I want her. That's all right. I'll say all what of them. What is it? I'll say all of them next week. Say, say five. One through, say one through five real quick. Oh, one of those. Oh, cis, man, cis, cis woman from the fifth floor. You remember uh, bra man from the fifth floor? Wait, what fifth, is cis, cis woman? What is cis? cis? Because he said bra man. I'm not a man. Oh, cis. Oh. Yes, I think she meant like that. Cis gender. L Boogie. L Boogie. L Boogie. We need, we, we need to send her to some Spanish. Duolingo. Spanish Download Duolingo. Or, or something like that. Hold so up. we can get her. Is L her, Boogie? Her is, he, is he Spanish? No. He's blackish. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <video. laughs> Look Jaleo, I don't need you telling me the answers in the chat. L- you know what? I'm gonna surprise all y'all fools next week. All y'all men, uh, Ty, make sure you here next week. Give us eleven to twenty <laughs> next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> that, she gonna go as far as four. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, video number five. <laughs> they couldn't believe their eyes after seeing this woman strolling around Disney World. Hmm. Peanut. It's this joint podcast. Oh, let's go. It's time to stop body shaming other people. I was at Disneyland today. I wanted to have fun with my siblings, but our day was ruined by all the people that were making fun of the size of my body. And the worst part is that they teach their kids to do the same. They kept taking photos of me. They gave me bad looks all the time. Or just kept laughing at me. I know you may think that I am exaggerating and that is my fault for being a big girl, but this is literally what God gave me and I have to embrace every single part of me. Even if you have a condition or you look different, you shouldn't get bullied for the way you look. I would never talk negatively about someone else's appearance. Respect is key. This should be a safe place where everyone feels comfortable. And I wasn't doing anything, just existing. At the end of the day, I just wanted to have fun like everyone else. If you don't like something, stop hating and keep it for yourself. Yeah. The God. Lord. Yeah. God, the God did not give her that. God the paid, Lord he is paid di- for it. The Lord is thine shepherd. 
<laughs> you know what I want. Lord have mercy. <laughs> God damn, El Boogie. El Boogie, you took the words right out of my mouth. Damn. Man. Woo. T is a real T. Hell no. <laughs> T, you don't think it's a real T? That's not even proportion, right? No. You could make a peanut butter and jelly on that joint. <laughs> both bread on both sides. <laughs> Bang. Man. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you peep the kids? Even the, the back kids out. was looking the kids like, was like what, what is the? that? <laughs> Do she got on a Mickey Mouse costume <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Boy, God. you know what? We going straight to the comments, man. Fuck the yeah, boy. Please Fuck do. the boy. Excuse I, my I language. I have nothing to say about this one. Yeah. Comment number one. Mental health evaluation needed. It ain't got nothing to do with her mental health. <laughs> I can't tell you that much. <laughs> I don't know what other health it is, but it damn sure ain't her mental. <laughs> Might mess up my mental health. <laughs> but hers is all intact. Yo, my son. <laughs> Woo. Hey, what does it say? Good what do you guys say, Tay? Mm, I ain't mm, got mm. nothing to say. <laughs> got a speechless. That ass got her speechless. Yeah, yeah, no. Me too. Well, you got a black woman speechless for you. To- <laughs> because to each his own. Good I don't welcome. have nothing to do with these women and how they be doing all these damn surgeries. Ooh. Like, look. If she got that surgery, that must have been oh. 2.2 million. <laughs> Yo. Oh, my God. Comment number two. <laughs> Comment number two says, dads were risking it all that day. I'm going to just get them kids. I want to get on that ride. I'm just going to get my, I'm going to get my ass, I'm going to get my ass beat tonight. I ain't going to be able to stop looking at this. Uh, Listen, babe, I'm going to go get um, some hot dogs, some french fries. I'm going to get everybody something. You want something too? It's the concession stand right there. No, no, no. They don't got what I need. I got to go to that one all the way over there. Yeah, you know. I, uh, yeah, I, 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 I got I got, got, got slide to this one. You know what? I wasn't even able to carry all of it. I'm going I'm to drop this off. I'm going to go right back. I'm going to go get... Man, please. I would have listened. I would have took that. Hey, wait, wait. Let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you right now. Ain't no way in hell of the average man hitting that from the back. Oh, no. You, you know, like, you, you got to just scoop. Oh, you got... You, you gotta do, get your scoot off. You know how to you know yeah. you know how the massage therapists do this with they uh with their shins. That's how you gotta open that thing up. Ah. <laughs> then you gotta get up in there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm real this strong. <laughs> they like what you no nah, oh, yeah. I'm telling you. That's a lot of work. T, what's up, T? Anything? This is all for y'all. Come this on, is T. all for y'all. And then, wait, imagine T any, any, any of your girlfriends have like No. Back in the day, we used to call them Badunka Dunks. <laughs> oh, not like that. God. Come on now. That's just not natural. Listen, yeah. you can't toss that salad. That's way too nah. that's wet. That's iceberg lettuce, spring mix. <laughs> that's all the salads in the world. You can't get up in there. You definitely going to suffocate. <laughs> they nasty asses. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. No. Oh, man. You, boy. Listen. Let me, but, you know, I'm going to get serious for a minute. Young lady. We slide this mattress over there. <laughs> Tell me your thoughts. <laughs> like like El Boogie said, that's a garden. Yes. That's a whole garden back there. Like, right, let's go. Oh, let's go to look, comment number three. I tear that up. Judge me if you want. Like I said. I wish you could tell that was a man right there. Like I said. Ah, ah, you got that thing spread. <laughs> you gotta go fast because your arms gonna get tired. I'm telling you, you gotta go fast. Hey, T, he nasty, T. Not he nasty, not T. Anymore. Like I said, T, this, this is your video. I ain't got nothing to do with this. <laughs> I gave my life over to the Lord. I was just telling y'all what I used to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, listen, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. This is your podcast, this man. Look, we want to thank y'all for joining us tonight. Appreciate y'all. We, we we appreciate all the love in the chat, everybody. Yes, sir. Keep 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 you know keep commenting. Yes, sir. We and you know, as appreciate. you know, you can catch us in your car, Spotify, Pandora, um, iTunes, uh, Google Podcasts. We on all those platforms. All T. Platforms. Yes, sir. Take us home, T. Good night. Come no, on, that's, man. That's, 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 my, that's my thing. That's okay. my thing. That's a little right. soft. Sorry, Come sorry, on I'm now. Sorry. We need it hard. We right. need a hard, raw Re- dick. Really? 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 Hard yeah. like that? Okay. Hard like that. Okay. Let me, let me. Focus. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you everyone for joining us tonight on the Disjoin Podcast. Good night. Yeah. You heard the woman, god damn it. It's Disjoin Podcast. Oh. Deuces.